Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll be discussing about the third problem of today's weekly contest, Design Memory Allocator. The problem states that you are given the integer n representing a zero sized memory array. Okay. And you have to perform two operation, uh, allocate and free. So this is very similar, like they are trying to make it very similar to how arrays are allocated in memory. Okay, in actual memory, computer memory. So what they're saying, we have a array n, which, which represents zero sized memory array, zero indexed memory array. And we have to write, we have to write allocate and free function. What is allocate? Allocate will be given two parameters size and MID, which is the memory ID. So basically you have to allocate some continuous block of size with a particular ID. Okay. And finally you will be given a uh, MID and you have to free all the memory with that particular ID. Okay. That's the problem. Now this problem is straightforward. Like uh, you will, we will look at the solution. This is very straightforward, but we would look a look at a very like a slightly different or a harder variation of the same pro same problem and we look at a particular concept which is used or like in most of the times in most of the real life scenarios as well okay so stay tuned till the end uh, and i will also give you an exercise uh, which is again a different variation of the same problem which you can think about and we can discuss that in the comment section below uh, feel free to post your solutions there okay so stay tuned till the end let's start so we have to write two function allocate and free allocate would uh, take in size and mid and return the first index the index uh, where this continuous block of size is allocated with this particular mid and free would take in mid and will return the number of free indexes okay or the feed memory units so let's think about it so we have this let's say this is our memory array and sized memory array this is n minus one okay now what you can do like let's say you you got a you got a request to allocate right uh, allocate uh, some let's say four size with id one okay now how exactly you will do that so the basically you need to return the leftmost like if there are more than one choices like this four size right you can take this four right similarly you can take this four as well right or you can take this four right so there are various possible choices of allocating this four so what they're saying is if there are various possible choices find the leftmost block leftmost block of which is possible with this particular choice. So in this case, the leftmost block, which is possible is this. So we will return zero because zero is the first index as a result. Okay. Now let's say another request comes, uh, which says, okay, uh, allocate, uh, uh, some, let's say three units with uh, index two. Okay. Now, what we can do, we just need to find out the first uh, index which have three consecutive elements as free. So we'll just iterate from the left, right? So basically we are just trying to think of how we will do, we, how we will solve this in brute force without worrying about any kind of time complexities. So we'll start from the left, right? We'll see if some blocks are allocated, we'll skip that. Otherwise we'll see, okay, uh, there is a continuous block of uh, some length let's say l and this l is greater than the required length 3 so we will just allocate this block here so we'll just allocate this block here okay now this like we need to separate them with id as well right so let's fill two everywhere and let's fill one everywhere here okay now let's say there's a request comes that okay uh, free everything of id sorry uh, free everything of id let's say one okay now if you want to free everything of id one what uh, we can do we can simply uh, go here okay 
and uh, mark each of them as zero again. Like zero means let's say free. So we'll just mark each of them as zero again. So what the scenario scenario is? This four are free. Everything here is free, and this three are blocked by two. Uh, now let's say another allocate request come, right? And this time they want us to allocate a size of two with ID let's say four. Okay. So again we'll do the same thing. We'll start from the left. We'll see uh, if there is a continuous block. Like how much continuous block is free uh, from from the first index? Four blocks are free, and four is this four is greater than two. We'll just allocate this first two here and mark them as one. Okay. Now let's say another request come, allocate right, and this time they want us to uh, allocate five units or let's say three units with ID five. Now. We'll start from the uh, left, right, and we'll see how many units or uh, how many blocks are allocated. So, how many blocks are allocated starting from here? Two blocks, right? Is two greater than three? Answer is no. We have two blocks, but we can't. We want three continuous blocks. So, we will just move forward. This is the next free block. We will see how many uh, continuous blocks are present. The, there are five continuous blocks. Is five greater than three? Answer is yes. So you just allocate the first three from here, and just mark each of them as five, right? So that's the process. We will just iterate from the left, and just keep on finding out how many continuous blocks are there, which are free, and if it is greater than the required length, we'll just mark, we'll just block all of them. Otherwise, we'll move forward and keep repeating the process for the next set of continuous blocks. Okay. So what will be the time complexity of allocation here? The for allocation, what we are doing, we are iterating from the left and visiting every block once to see whether they are free or not. So let's say uh, in this case, we visit this block. This not free. We'll continue. We we'll visit this block. Not free. Continue. This is free. Now we will visit all the free blocks in one go. We'll say, okay, there are two blocks here. Now. Once we have found a continuous block, once we have found a continuous block of uh, the required size, let's say in this case three, so we found a continuous block of required size, we'll just mark them or we'll just mark their ID as five. Okay, so that's what we will do for allocate. So in worst case, what we are doing, we'll be iterating over the entire thing, and we will again iterate over once iterate over the array once again to mark them. To mark their IDs. So in worst case, we are doing two n operation for one allocation. Similarly, what is there for free? For free, you can just iterate over the entire array, see where the ID matches. Wherever the ID match, just mark just mark them as zero. So free is also order n, right? So what is the time complexity total? Time complexity would be order n into number of operations because it doesn't matter whether whether the operation is uh, free or allocation we are requiring order in time so that is the time complexity this will pass right because n, or n is 1000 and number of operations is also 1000 so this will pass and that's what we have done like this is uh, this simple only what we did we just iterate from left to right we see if blocks is zero or not if it is zero just continue we found a continuous free segment like if it is allocated we'll just continue if it is not allocated it means it is not uh, it is zero then we just found out a continuous block of zero okay now if this continuous block of zero is greater than the required size then we will just mark the required size the the id of all these blocks starting from i uh, starting from start with this particular id And just return start from here. Otherwise, we will keep on repeating the process. If we end the process and we don't find any continuous block which can fit this particular size, we'll return minus one. Okay. Now, for free, we are doing the same thing. We just uh, iterate over the entire array, check whether the ID is MID or not. If it is, we just uh, uh, free this by marking it as zero. Okay. So that's what we are doing. This problem is solved. Now. Uh, Let's talk about a slight variation. The variation is, what is what about the case where 
let's say allocate is okay like they are okay having allocate as time complexity of order n but let's say for free we want to implement it in less than order n let's say in order 1 okay so this is one pull this is one variation right second variation is let's say uh, we want to we are okay with order n of free but we want allocate to be something less than order n maybe order log n order root n and so on so basically we are okay having order n for free right but we are not okay having order n for allocate so we uh, we want to reduce the time complexity so in this video i will talk about the second case first let's say uh, how to reduce the time complexity of second approach given the first is still order n like allocate is still order n we will just uh, try to achieve free in order one okay so let's talk about this variation first and i would encourage you to uh, think about the second variation where the allocate is less than order n i am not talking about that it is order one or something it is less than order n and free can be order n okay so that is an exercise for you uh, let's talk about this 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 variation where we need to free it or free the entire thing in 